Why study video games? I see this question on people's faces sometimes when I tell them that I study video games. And in an institution where people are learning how to program computers, design buildings and bridges, and cure communicable diseases, it's easy to see how someone would think that studying video games is really not all that important. What we have is an opportunity to take a look at what we value as a society, because that's what's being represented there. So if you watch a lot of media, or if you play a lot of games, eventually you get a sense of what people think makes somebody heroic, or what makes somebody evil. So if we're going to look at the way values are expressed in video games, we can tell right away that there are some problems. If you sit down to play a video game, one of the first things you have to do is make your character. Okay, and the very first question you'll get asked is what gender would you like to play? So notice right away you only have two options. Some people would find that pretty limiting. Um, also notice that there's absolutely no racial diversity here, and that's definitely a problem too. But even putting those things aside, let's just look at the way that these two human beings are being portrayed. We'll look at the guy first. So he's kind of muscly, he looks angry. He's got that scar, he's got armor and weapons. It's clear that he's a fighter. Okay, so there's your per picture of masculinity. So now let's look at the girl. The way games are designed mechanically, she is going to be exactly the same kind of fighter that he is, just as good a fighter as the guy. But she's half naked while she's doing it. So what we're focused on is not her skills as a fighter, but her body. That seems to be the most important thing. And I've decided rather than publishing a bunch of angry articles talking about what's wrong with this, what's wrong with gender in games and race in games, um, instead I would contribute a game of my own to the conversation. So designing a video game is my dissertation project. So what I would like to do is feature a female mixed race protagonist um, and she is struggling with her identity like so many of us do. Um, so it's something that the player can relate to. Um, she's struggling because society has labeled her a monster. They have decided that she is evil. She's not heroic. Where in a novel, the reader is passively dragged along through the story, in a game, the player participates in the creation of that character. So there will be a wide range of different possibilities and different experiences of what it's like to play this character because of the choices that players are making in the game. Now, I see this being really useful in a classroom setting where we can read the Victorian novel that I've taken this character from, and then we can play this game and there will be lots of room for discussion about people's different experiences being a woman, being mixed race, struggling with their identity, and hopefully it'll also be fun.